It was a cool script. Malibu Day. That's how the episode's gonna start. It's gonna start with Malibu you going. Day. I'm keeping we that in on it. the edit. Keeping that in on the edit. Yeah. Oh, we love it. Lordy, lordy, it's E40. What an exciting episode of Malibu Dan the Family Pan we're in for. Good gracious. Episode 14, Macaroni and Sneeze. Isn't as gross as we're you think it is. We're coming in hot. We're coming in so hot. It's 9 o'clock at night. We, we already recorded an episode today, but I texted John earlier and was like, you want to do Macaroni and Sneeze tonight? I, I want to watch it and I want to talk <laughs> about it. You wanna you wanna do macaroni and sneeze tonight? <laughs> euphemism. <laughs> do you and your wife want to come over and no do macaroni euphemism. and sneeze with us? No, it is a euphemism. You and your wife Maybe came over. Maybe just the best physical gig in this series so far. Remember when my well, I guess it's was it just me? It was just me. Remember when I came over and we did science experiments at your house and baked a bear shaped pie? Yeah. I remember fun. that. That's fun. Why did you do that? Why did I do what? I mean, what what spurred that? Well, you wanted to do uh Magic School My Bus Science Experiment? Yeah, Magic School Bus Science Experiment kit. And I said, oh, "I'll do that." And it was like 10 year 15 years old, whatever. Some of it still worked. And then mm -hmm. I don't know. I just wanted to bake a pie, so we baked a pie as well. But it just when we rolled out the crust, it shaped it was shaped like a bear, and so it was bear crust. We were very high. We had a lot of drugs. Yeah, it was truly shaped like a bear. This is no joke. Mm -hmm. We're not fun in you. No, and there was we were gonna do experiments with our toenails or something, <laughs> weren't we? Wasn't that we, a thing? we decided to do everything but the feet because we're not feet guys. Hey, but coming to OnlyFans near you. That's right. We've decided our OnlyFans is gonna be strictly feet pics. This is not a joke. If you want to just see our feet and pay money a month to see pictures of our feet, we will post them on OnlyFans for you exclusively. They're gonna be covered in caramel. They're gonna be gussied up with little clothing little doll clothing i'll paint my nails i already, I already paint my fingernails sometimes I'll paint my toenails for you oh yeah paint our nails for sure maybe do a rainbow theme hey that's cool each toe a different color of the rainbow yeah support the troops <laughs> no we don't support the troops on this show <laughs> that's yeah, a stance i, I stand behind <laughs> support yourselves troops <laughs> Yeah, if you want to go to another country and kill a bunch of people, support yourself. Exactly. If you want to just hang out and live in Fort Lauderdale and pretend to be <laughs> whatever, then support yourself. <laughs> We're going to yeah, have to cut all this funding out. funding from Gary Heaven. Exactly. Show them how they do it in Texas. America, baby. America, baby. Time to do keg stands as soldiers. <laughs> Man, there's so many things we could do with our feet. I'm just having, like, idea after idea. I know. We could dress them up like Obama. Yeah, that was a nice, clean take that we got there, so I can cut out all that anti-soldier talk. But I'm not going to cut out this <laughs> part where I reference the anti-soldier talk that we had. No. No. I want to confuse I the audience. I, you know, maybe not for some of our more militaristic fans. We have lots of fans all over... This great land and other great lands. The Philippines. Yeah, cross your heart. Oh, and hope to die. Stick a needle in your thigh. That's right. In episode 14, Macaroni and Sneeze. <laughs> and, hey, we're serious about those feed pics on OnlyFans. We're going to be posting lots of them, so get ready for those puppies. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i going to talk to my wife. I'm going to clear with her because you have to do that with all things exactly. in a marriage. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But once I get the clear, it's only fans till we die. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Until we make a millie. <laughs> We're going to stop at a millie, though? Yeah, yeah, just one millie. I just want to make one. But, like, one millie each. So we got to make two millie, essentially. How about we bless our pee and sell it through OnlyFans, too? Yeah, as the show gets bigger, we'll do all kinds yeah. of gross-out gags. We'll sell used panties, whatever, man. We'll do whatever gross we want. Gross-out? What are you talking about? Selling blessed pee? You don't think that counts as a gross-out gag? That's clean. That's clean, good fun, You're right. and it, holy. It is sterile. They could drink it and squirt it out of their eye if they want. That's a reference to an old you, episode. You can brush your teeth with it. Can you? That's my guarantee. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> you can drink That's it out of the a... Romans brush their teeth. Well, I mean, they did invent aqueducts, so I guess we can take a lot of lessons from the Romans. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Brushing your teeth with pee and aqueducts. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. two great things of the Roman Empire. Oh, peace signs. Two peace signs to you. Peace and love, my brother. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I don't know either, but I liked it. <laughs> Throwing up two peace signs like we're Kauai. <laughs> Yata! Yeah. You know, that's Japanese. <laughs> Scrappy Doo. Oh. <laughs> That is Scrappy Doo. You're right. Why isn't there? There's got to. There's got to be a Scooby Doo anime, right? Like, there's got to be some kind of weird Scrappy Doo. We should just be looking up Scrappy Doo Rule Thirty Four. We'll do that off air. Rule Thirty Four. Yeah, Scrappy Doo. The uh, anime version. That's pornography. I want to look up Scrappy Doo Uh... pornography. I want to see how they draw his red rocket. Anyway. Macaroni and Sneeze, we're way off base. This is such a monumental episode in the show. And we're Huge. talking we're anti we're talking anti troop talk. We're talking you know, Scrappy Doo's d- We're way off target, man. we we've we've lost the thread. We need to focus Dink. up Ding. Please. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to censor it. Mark the time six uh six ten. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mark the time, go back, take that out. Gosh darn it. We haven't recorded at night in a while. Yeah. And uh uh, it's uh, fun. We're having fun. We usually start our days with the recordings, and that's a pretty, that's a very positive way to start the day. I, I look forward to it mm-hmm. every day, and believe me, we record almost every day. We're losing our minds. <laughs> it's about to end, and I'm kind of sad. But it's uh, not about to end. We're not even halfway whatever. through the series yet. We have so much stuff to cover. The morning records. I mean, no, I don't care that you're going back to school. We're gonna st- we're gonna keep recording. It's good. You're gonna be homeschooled anyway. Whatever, man. It's gonna yeah, be fine. Maybe, maybe not. Let's we'll talk see. about Hopefully. this off air. Let's talk about this yeah. off air. Uh, <laughs> so, listeners, in case you were in a, a few episodes ago, you might have remember we had a total meltdown because we found out that <laughs> Malibu Dan, the Family Man Reloaded, wasn't another series. It was just the first series reordered, where they took yeah. the last. I don't know how many episodes, 10 episodes, something yeah. like that. And we got the, 10 left. Yeah. So I guess we are over halfway. My apologies. Yeah. But they took the last 10 episodes, put them at the start of the season, and then ended the season with the first 14 episodes of this season. And let me tell you, I can see why they did that, because yeah. episode 14, Macaroni and Sneeze, is a total... Yata! It's a total... Bless up, glow up, game changer for Malibu Down the Family Man. It's like a different show entirely. It's yeah. beautiful. Like, think of a trampoline with all the screws not done up all the way. Um, okay. And you almost die <laughs> jumping on them. Mm. Are you imagining them? I'm picturing This it. is like if they screwed those screws in tighter. <laughs> so the first and the trampoline works now. You're saying the first 14 episodes are a Lucy Goose trampoline that could kill you if you use yeah. it improperly. The last 10 episodes are a real pristine trampoline, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, a dream dream. That trampoline. is that is what they call it. Yeah. Um, the first thing you're gonna notice is that the the set for Wake Up Malibu is very different than it was before. Now there's a big ugly table, uh, and by big ugly table, I mean little tiny ugly table that two people can barely sit behind. Yeah, it's an interesting and decision. <laughs> like a couch on one side and then an armchair on the other. I'm I'm interested to see how that's going to translate with guests there because mm-hmm. I don't think it will. I don't think so either. And I I also don't think we're ever going to see Bam Wallets again. I think Bam Wallets nope. is gone. I think they spent the money they were paying John O'Hurley on buying new green screen backgrounds for this show. Because there's a bunch of new ones. Yeah, I couldn't imagine them like upgrading his office as well as Dan's and the sets Yeah, and, and everything it, else. It's, uh, yeah, okay. So let's let's get into it. Almost ten minutes into this episode. Let's get into it. Uh... New opening credit sequence. Same song. Bam, 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 wallets. Same song. New yeah. clips all through it. Very exciting. Ow, bam, Except wallets. for one clip where they're in Bam Wallet's office and they all like spread out. Oh, they kept yeah, yeah, that yeah. one in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <The> only... <laughs> but that's the only one. Every the... other scene, 
that you see every, every other clip is a new clip except for that one clip from the original weird what a weird decision to keep that one of all ones i mean <laughs> it's, it's a good kind of like it's a good group shot i guess and bam wallace isn't in it so you can still use it i guess i wonder if they had like a, a group of people come in and make notes on the show yeah they're called the pure boys podcast and <laughs> we retroactively fix this show because a lot of our Is complaints it? from the, from the early episodes are fixed in this episode a lot of the stuff i hated is now different and it's better i honestly thought i was caught in a time warp for a little <laughs> bit of this uh uh episode did you like that at the end of the opening credits there's now ocean sounds over it there's now like the <sighs> beach caw, caw, caw. yeah exactly oh big ships coming in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that voiceover was weird. <laughs> it's just Dan, I think. I think it's just David A.R. White going, <laughs> Get out of here, Dan! <laughs> Pick up those needles off the beach, Dan! Uh, it's great. It's I love, I love the new opening credits, and I'm excited to get to know all of the scenes. Like, I got, I got to know all the scenes in the original opening credits, and as the series went on, I was ticking them all off, where I was like, okay, we've seen where Nicole falls off the couch. We've seen where everyone spreads out. We've seen... Uh, snowsuits. Snowsuits, of course, yeah. So it's I can't wait to just tick all these ones off now. That's going to be fun. And there's more of them, right? Like, it was cut, 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 cut. Yeah, it was cut, 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 cut. I don't recall any of the from this episode being in the opening credits, though, so they're going to have to really... We're too new. We're too fresh. It's only been one episode. It'll take a couple episodes till we clock every single one. Exactly, yeah. So what the premise of this episode is, is that they are, they've been sponsored by this company called Mrs. Leopard's Macaroni and Cheese, which is a Gross. mac and cheese. It yeah, it doesn't and the macaroni and cheese doesn't look very good either. It's just I don't know. But they're they're filming a commercial for it. So they need to audition kids to play Dan's daughter in the commercial. And Arlen is like psyched to audition these kids. Very weird. Dan's like, "Do we have to keep doing this?" And Arlen's like, "Yes." You're like, "Ugh, I don't I don't like it, Arlen." Yeah, Arlen interacting with children or anywhere near these children is no good at all he he kisses emily yeah, at I was one point say, yeah. on the cheek Ugh. he kisses and kate and so emily disgusting. it's like oh beautiful kate and my darling emily and you're like bro you're like the producer on this show like don't don't refer to the talent's kid like that it's so weird you barely know them yeah, half of my notes are just, Arlen, get away from the kids. Right? Yeah. Hey, here's something I just realized. Farty Marty Dankles and Big Farty Marty Dankles and Dan went to high school together, but now Big Farty Marty Dankles is just Dan's next door neighbor. What the heck kind of life is that? They're, they didn't. They just never got away from each other. They're just like, yeah, move in next door, man. It's every every boy's dream. It ever it is everybody's boy's dream, but then they grow up to be men and they move far away from their friends. That they don't anymore, though. They live right next to each other. Although, I have a feeling we're never going to see Farty Marty Dankles again on this show. I have a feeling he's gone after the old se like after the old series is done. He's gone. We're not seeing him in second half reloaded stuff. I really don't think so either. I think they reconfigured everything, and that yeah. meant getting rid of a bunch of excess waste as far as money is concerned <laughs> and as far as pant size is concerned <laughs> elastic so, so a kid comes to audition named natalie and she's this precocious little kid who is a hundred percent david arrow white's actual real life daughter because she looks exactly like holiday sinclair it's frightening yep. it's like oh yeah kids look like their parents she looks exactly like her mom and it seems like Arlen and Dan are treating her, like, extra precariously. Yeah. Like, it is his daughter, so they want to be very nice. And no offense to David A.R. White or his real-life daughter, but don't keep putting her in the show. Uh, she's not good in this scene. She's not... She doesn't have any... Emily is a better presence than Natalie. We don't need Natalie. We already have Emily. She's a good kid actor. We don't need other kid actors to bog it all down. Which is kind of the whole point of this whole show. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, Emily's great. I, I could definitely see her in, like, real roles in the future. Yeah, she's really grown on me. I didn't really like her in the first couple episodes because she put her dirty boots on the couch. <laughs> but now uh, she's, 
she's really grown on me <laughs> to the to the point where in this episode I'm like, yeah, you're good, Emily. You're you're a good child actor. Keep it up, kid. Can't wait to see all the Christian movies you're gonna be in in the future. Yeah, look out doing any scenes in front of you with your feet on the couch. Oh, oh my gosh, I'll I will come down on you so hard. I will crush your little feet <laughs> with pictures of my big feet. Uh, here's a little mind fudge. Her, Natalie's mom in this show is Mia from like a country song, right? Like that's the same actress, right? I I I'm sorry I paused, but that blows my mind. I don't think so though. No, I'm a hundred percent sure it is. I I'm pretty sure her real life name is Jennifer Taylor. She's the person we follow on Twitter, and I'm almost positive she plays Anna Adams. Natalie Adams' mom on this show. They look identical. Google it. Look, at, You look it up this time. I'm always looking stuff up. It's a new day dawning. You look it up this time. Anna Adams You look it up this time. A cutie. <laughs> I sent you the person in the chat that I think she looks like. That you think she looks uh, like. Mel oh, my God. You my internet like even tried to help me up by giving me a good suggestion, but I didn't follow it. You think she looks like Andrea Savage? Yeah, she looks exactly like Andrea Who Savage. Who is Andrea Savage? Uh, she's in Step Brothers. She's in uh, Noah. She's not in Noah. Don't lie to me. Uh, I'm lying. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Is it? Wait. Jennifer Taylor is the actress's name who's in this. I'm almost positive Jennifer Taylor is also the actress's name who plays Mia in Like a Country Song. It's not coming up. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm going to look it up right now. Hey, is this good content, listeners, while we argue about whether this woman's in this or not? Okay, so they're in the conference room, which ah. we've talked about a lot previously. Bam. Bam Wallets. There she is. Jennifer Taylor. That's her. Yeah. That's her. That's like a country song. That's, well, she's not in the IMDb page. She's not in which, the IMDb page. That's true. So we're both right. But if you if you look up... Anna Adams in the cast list of Malibu Down the Family Man, she does not come up. There is no cast no. listing for Anna Adams. It's got to be Jennifer Taylor. She's in a bunch of stuff David Arroway produces, and we know he only eats at home, so it's got to be her. Fox? So, okay. You're right. It is thank you. definitely Jennifer yes, Taylor. Yes, thank you. I already tweeted at her earlier saying we loved you on Malibu Down the Family Man as Anna, Natalie's mom. So... I knew, Ooh. I knew I was right. I just wanted you to prove me right, and you didn't. You were obtuse, so I had to throw it in your face and show you that I was actually right. <laughs> okay, so I'm wrong. Yeah, are we gonna just I'll record this up. episode again? How I'm many hail marys? So Fifteen hail marys. Should we end this episode and just re-record it? No, <laughs> because I think this is good content. Probably not. But <laughs> did you see the big? change in the conference room yes i know exactly what you're talking about they moved I could, they I moved could have talked something. about this the whole episode what did they move they moved the freaking dartboard you bet they did they took it right out from behind that plant and put it right by the door <laughs> yeah a place where you could play darts mm -hmm. they even put a basketball net over the garbage can this is where I thought I was in a time loop and that uh, we went back in time and gave them some suggestions because, mm -hmm. boy, that, that dartboard needed to get moved. I I was so thrilled when I saw it. It was like, oh, my gosh, like, wow, they're really making some positive changes to the show. They, they must have, like you said, they must have focus grouped it or something like that. And yeah. people went, this old set sucks. It's dumb. Who put this together? <laughs> And like, What's that dartboard doing behind that plant? Exactly. And now you've added another dartboard that's even smaller below that dartboard? <laughs> Who is that for? Get the frick away from me. Also, get the fridge out of there. Now there's no fridge in the break room. They move that out of the way. Oh, uh, it doesn't say more uh, Fridays, less Mondays anymore. <laughs> no, but it, it says a lot of stuff on that board. That board is cram a jam full of stuff. I couldn't even read all of it. I didn't even bother trying. God, thank frick they moved that dartboard. Oh, my God. I know. But, hey, the new – I mean, it's the same office, but with new stuff in it. That looks great. Yeah. But the biggest change, they cut from the office to an exterior shot of a house, and I went, 
whose house is this? It's is this, this Party Marty's house? Yeah, exactly. It's like a Malibu <laughs> mansion. It's beautiful. It's such a nice house. And I'm like, who's pol- whose mansion is this? And we cut inside. Well, then there's Kate doing laundry. Well, that, that, that must mean that this is Dan's mansion. Isn't it, isn't it smaller than the original um, outside <laughs> shot? I swear it fits better. Anyways. It does. Well, the, the, weirdly enough, the garage takes up most of the frame. Like, it's like a very garage-heavy yeah. exterior shot. And I'm like, you take it from the other angle where you can see the house and the garage is in the background. Don't put the garage in the foreground. That's That's bad positioning. Very true, but I felt like Thank it you. made it look smaller, like it made it feel more like their home, not the huge, like, multi-room mansion that yeah. the other house looked like. The Winchester house they used to live in, where you just, oh, there's just Ooh. endless doors that open into endless rooms, and you just go, well, I don't, I don't know, Piranassi, you know? Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, and, like, I, the exterior shot makes it look like it's a single-story house, but inside there is clearly a set of stairs that go upstairs somewhere and i don't know yeah. where that goes probably their bedroom i would imagine a set lights <laughs> yeah exactly rafters and girders and stuff <laughs> rafters and girders and... <laughs> these are a few of my favorite things you know yeah um i, I do know what is there any like emily's recording stuff Kate is acting Kate acts weird in this episode like I yeah I feel like they got like they focus group the show and the show went Kate and Dan need to be more wacky they need to say like they need to have real quippy back and forth banter and be really zany and wacky and I'm like you don't have to like that's what big farty marty dankles is for yeah they really wanted to sex him up a little bit they wanted him to be a little bit more quirky like Dan gets on his uh, knee and they talk to Emily, and he's on his bad knee, so he's really toughing it out. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kate gets really randy. Oh, yeah. She says, oh, is it, are you on your bad knee? And he goes, yeah. And she goes, you're so brave. And he goes, I love you. <laughs> and they almost do it right there. They forget Emily's uh, there, and they're trying to console, console her. I mean, there is really, like, there is a moment where she has to go, Mom, Dad. And they're like, oh. Like, they were <laughs> so in <gasps> love in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> they were so in love. It was beautiful to see. It makes yeah. me think that, like, that, like, maybe they fell in love in real life. Who knows? Yeah. I'm just speculating wildly. Maybe they did fall in life, and this is what uh, drove the uh, marriage in Twain. But we don't want to. We don't want to speculate that. about that. No, did you like yeah. the Did you like the line where they implied that Mia from like a country song had crabs? <laughs> where Kate was like Anna no. Adams, talk about a crab fisherman. You're like. <laughs> I'm weird. I I do remember that line, and I think I even wrote it down. Like, what is she talking about? <laughs> they were insinuating she has crabs. No. <laughs> I, well, they're not, but that's what that line says. I'm just projecting. As someone who has had crabs since birth, I'm just projecting multiple times. Well, it multiple never went crabs. away. It, could you call it multiple times if it's just been one consistent time for 33 years? <laughs> Can we have crabs on our feet? I mean, I got, yeah, I got some hairy knuckles. I could probably throw a couple crabs in there. All right. God, cool. I'm so excited for our cool. feet only OnlyFans. It's going to be great. People are going to love it. Yeah, my feet are disgusting, and they're going to see all of it. But people are going to like that. They People are into that kind of stuff. There's a lot of freaks out there. Yeah, the two men in their 30s showing their feet online oh, on yeah. OnlyFans? Yeah, that's Selling their piss? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's a million dollar idea right there. I'm definitely changing our our like write up on OnlyFans to say, "What's up, all you glitter queens, bug chasers, and and yiz heads? It's uh, two men selling feet pics and and their own piss online." <laughs> that's our own. Welcome to Pure Boys OnlyFans. I wonder what the market's like on little like holy jars. Is that going to be costly? No, I don't think so. If the church can afford it, we can afford it. Churches don't make any money. Just kidding. They make silly buku bucks. Billions. I mean, probably Tax less free. now. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing. Pure Boys, we're going to have to convert this podcast into a religious organization so we don't have to pay taxes on all of our OnlyFans income. Yeah. Yiz be with us. Exactly. That's what we'll write on. We'll sell jars of piss that say <laughs> yiz on them. 
people will buy that. That is a normal sentence that anybody could have said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just normal things that normal guys do. You could take this clip and put it in any podcast, and nobody would know that they'd go, oh, that's just a normal episode of that podcast. Yeah. You know, you know when I'm trying to think of another podcast, but I don't, I can't think of any podcast. Yeah, let's not promote any other. No, podcasts. God, Screw no, them. no, we don't. They don't need our help. They wouldn't have the cojones to sell their piss online. Exactly, exactly. Piss jars with yiz on them. We'll call them yiz jars. The yiz and round it out with our feet shots. Yeah, of course, of course. Well. Oh my God! Here, how about this? We print off pictures of our feet, we put them in the jars of yiz, and we send those to people. Hey, double trouble! Hey, this is an this is art, is what we'll say. <laughs> hey, this is art. Hey, this is art. Prove to us that this isn't art. You can't do it. Art is subjective, and it has no meaning except to the creator. So we can definitely just sell jars of yiz with feet pics in them. You paid for this. You paid for this, fool. I really hope I get permission from my wife to do this because I don't think she's going to let me. I'm not even going to ask my wife for permission. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> You're just going to sell your pee online? I'm a glitter queen and a yes Bruh. head. I don't care. I'm selling my feet and I'm selling my piss. It's all Bruh. going into jars from here on in. If you order it, you know, if for an extra 10 bucks, I'll send it to you hot. I don't care. How are you going to do that? I don't think you can substantiate yes, that. Yes, you can. I'm going to get, like, really nice containers that, like, I have a water bottle that keeps water ice cold for days. You're telling me if I didn't fill this with yiz and send it to people, it wouldn't come hot and frothy when it arrived at their door? It 100% would be the in my core body temperature when they opened it to drink it. I guarantee you that. When they open okay. it to fish out my feet pick that's in there, it'll be like but Cracker Jack boxes where in each jar of yiz there's a different feed pick and you gotta collect them all listener if you think you're gonna get those jars of piss for free oh no it's gonna not. be sponsive you gotta pay for the thermos <laughs> you gotta pay for the picture this and you gotta pay for the piss this tachyo water bottle cost me like 45 dollars the jar of yiz is gonna cost at least 70 to make up for that difference i gotta pay for shipping at that point i gotta yeah. bribe border guards and customs to let jars of yiz go through ah it's a lot we can have different flavors like we'll drink a different thing for different types of pee yeah we'll try to give ourselves utis so it's like gets a little spicy picante if you want to pee right after sex, that's going to cost way mucho buene. Oh, yeah, yeah, for <laughs> real. If Yeah, if you want a pipe-clearing pee, it's going to really cost you, bud. <laughs> yeah, bud. Because it's only going to be men buying them. It's not going to be... There's going to be no women on our OnlyFans. It's just going to be creepy old gross dudes buying jars of yiz with feet pics in them filled with pipe-clearing yiz. The, nobody else is going to buy it. And I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> Men that look like you and me buying this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it sounds great. It sounds like the most perfect world I'd love to live in. Oh, my gosh. Listeners, we'll let you know once we get that up and running. The OnlyFans does exist. It's existed for eight weeks at this point. I mean, nothing's... Yep. The jars of years will already be on there. If you stumble, If you stumbled across our OnlyFans account five weeks ago and went... Why are there jars filled with yiz on here? It's because now, now you're understanding the context behind it. <laughs> it's like that video of the robot getting her tits grabbed. It, it, seven weeks ago, we posted that video on Twitter, and now you're understanding it. it all, it's cyclical. It all comes back. Time will catch up with us. Exactly. And one day the law will catch up with us. So Arlen kisses Emily and Yeah, on the cheek. Uh on the cheek. Yeah. In a very like patronly way. Yeah, it's not a peck. It's like a long <laughs> like that kind of thing. And she's just looking right into the camera the whole time. It's weird. I think more Italian than that. Mamma mia. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so is this on the rails again? <laughs> I think we're back on the rails, yeah. Emily okay. comes into audition for the commercial. She gets it. Then she's alerted to the, the cheese and sneezes. Macaroni and sneeze. 
I did laugh at the sneezes. Yeah, she was again. She's good. She's good yeah. in this episode. Hey, at the end, of, Natalie, if you're or Emily, if you're listening to this, which you shouldn't be, please no, God. do not listen to this. Nobody please. send this to the girl who plays Emily, please, for the love of God. When I said the law is going to catch up with us, I did not mean because Emily listened to this episode. I don't want that to be the end of us. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Arlen, what up? Stop kissing kids. If you want to buy our piss, get at (laughs) OnlyFans. Send your piss request to at PureBoysPod on Twitter or PureBoysPod at gmail.com. Tell us what you'd like to eat to make our pee smell weird, and we will send it to you. No problem. No questions asked. Thermos included. Thermos included. What do you want us to eat? Raw eggs? I don't really want to do that. That's, Ooh, I'm not, raw eggs? No. I mean, I don't know. Asparagus is the only thing I can think of that makes your ears smell weird. Yeah, but I don't mind the smell of asparagus he is. It's, it's weird, but it's like, you know, it's different. I was still talking about the raw eggs. Oh, yeah. You tricked me into talking about how I like the smell of asparagus he is. I got gotcha. you. That was good. You, you like it? <sighs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. We love we you. We love you. <laughs> Malibu Day. All right, let's take it from the top. This is now the opening credits music. Here we go. Episode 14, Years and Sneeze. What was it? Mac and, Mac and Years. I think it's called Macaroni and Sneeze, starring Tina Turner. (laughs) We love you. We love you. We love you.